College football playoff predictions in August. Well, I mean, we do this every year, but early it still August. seems kind of It's early, the first right? week of August, by the way, when Ooh. this is being recorded. Well, we are getting closer, though, right? Because it's the first week of December that they do the, the playoffs, right? Like, they, they make the selections. So we're just doing it four months early, and that's okay because we know what we're talking about, obviously. The show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find more information on their six wonderful, amazing sports books over at tunicatravel.com. You can find us at winningcureseverything.com, our YouTube, our Facebook, etc. Like we've said before, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Leave us some comments on YouTube. We'd love to hear from you guys. If you're on Apple Podcast, hit subscribe. Leave us a nice five-star review. Tell us something funny. We will probably read it on the show. If you can entertain us, we're going to let you entertain everybody. So let's do that. So let's jump into our college football playoff picks. I have got my odds. I don't know if you've got yours. That's okay. No. That's a, why, when when you start rolling through yours, I might uh, I might have to pull yours up and see what's going is, on. Well, we have a lot of the same teams. I bet we do. I bet we do. Um, well, we're gonna have two two different. Two how, different. how do we want to do that? Did you do your five and six? No. Why, right, would, we do a I, five, why would we do a five we, and six? We did this last year. I understand that. We're this? doing a playoff, right? Yes. We're doing the playoff. Yeah, but I want I want the people to know who is close. No, that's ridiculous. That's not close right. doesn't matter. Close doesn't get in, and close doesn't cash tickets. No, it doesn't. But I'm just saying. I'm, if you want us to do six, then tell the NCAA to get off their ass and give us six teams. <laughs> I want eight. I don't like buys, by the way. Buys are soft. Buys are soft. <laughs> you want a bye week? Play 16 games a season. Then I'll give you a bye week. Then you get a bye week. Then you get a bye week. Yeah, but, I mean, these poor kids don't get paid, so. Oh, these these poor kids. Hang on, Gary. All right, here we go. We ready? We're going to start a different conversation. My number here. six team is Georgia. I think they are left out. I think they have two losses at the end of this whole thing. Number five, I've got Oregon. I've got them 11-1, and one, but I've got them not making the Pac-12 championship game. I think the winner of the Pac-12 actually gets into the playoff. And here is where it starts to get interesting. We go number four first? Uh, you know, who do you have one and two? Well, we, one and two, I have. How about this? So, number one. One and two are easy because you can look at our schedules, our regular season, and know what we've got. Okay. I got Michigan going undefeated. I got them number one. I got Clemson 11 and one because I don't like teams to go undefeated, but they're probably going to go undefeated, by the way. But you, you got Clemson one. I've got, no, I've got, well, I've got Michigan one because they're going to be 13 and 0. I think Clemson will lose one game somewhere. Okay. okay. I, and, and they probably won't, by the way. It, it's just, I just don't like. I don't. I think it's rare for teams to go undefeated. So, all right, we're not going to end up with three undefeated teams. I'll I assure on, you of that. I'll go on and give my. Been watching the sport too long. I'll go on and give my predictions. I've got Alabama at minus three twenty-five to make the playoff. Clemson is minus five hundred to make the playoff. Those two not good bets to make. Michigan plus two fifty to make the playoff. You've got Michigan, right? I've got Michigan. And then my fourth, my I one have. Seed. I have Utah at plus nine fifty to make the playoff this year. Well, that's that's pretty incredible. That's a lot of money if it actually is, and I, I feel good about it. All right, so you've got Clemson, and I've you got, got Michigan. I've got Clemson and Michigan. Who are your other two? Well, LSU. I think if they win the SEC, they go in. I think the winner of the SEC is getting in. Okay. Until the SEC is just not good anymore. LSU is plus four fifty. And this is just at one site, but it has a, a variation of all of them. And then Washington. I think Washington wins the Pac-12, and I do think they get in. Washington is... And I think da, the da, da. Big 12 is left out this year. Washington is plus 1,000. Wait a minute. Washington has worse odds than Utah? How the hell does that happen? Will Washington make the 14 playoff? Yes, plus 1,000. Will Utah make the 14 playoff? Yes, plus 950. I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. All right, that's going to wrap up today's show. It was a short but sweet one. We appreciate you guys checking us out. 
We hope that you will come back for more. Hit that subscribe button, like we said. Share the show. Thank Share you so much for, for, for listening. We appreciate it. Now, we will move into our NFL picks for a little bit. We cannot wait for those. And then it is on to picking games, like actual, legit, real games. Season starting. Believe that. All right, we will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.